Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time on this channel, you are welcome. I am Anne Ain Poche and I'm an author and I also do business. Now today's video is basically for that part of my channel where we talk business, okay? Now, don't mind my hair bonnet, okay? It's Saturday, well, Saturday night. Um, and I thought before I go to bed, let me shoot a couple of videos. And so if you see me in this bonnet <laughs> and this app, outfit for the next couple of videos on my channel just know that it was shot the same day okay so today I'm going to be talking about the economy of Gabon and then I'm going to come back with 10 business opportunities that can be done in Gabon okay in another video and then we call it a night for for that matter so basically gabon is um is an african country okay it's in the sub-saharan part of africa all right and um the what's it called the economy of gabon was dependent on timber okay and manganese mining until they discovered oil okay um and the sector within Gabon is okay sorry the the Gabon enjoys a per capita income four times that of most African nations of sub-saharan Africa so it's one of the richest country, um, nations in Af in sub-saharan africa okay um it um its reliance on resource extraction industry releasing much of the population from extreme poverty so basically it's mostly um what's it called relies on um manufacturing okay manufacturing of different products and different things okay um gabon depended on timber and manganese until oil was discovered offshore in the early 1970s the oil sector now counts accounts for um 50 percent of the gdp of the country and 80 percent of exports okay the government has recently announced it will release exactly it will reassess exactly how much iron or the Balinga site contains from contains before awarding the concession to a mining company most likely to be Chinese CMEC who temporarily secured the rights to the ore in 2007 so Basically, Gabon is rich in natural resources, in minerals, okay? Manganese and iron ore and all of those kind of stuff. They are rich in, um, what's it called? In, um, in natural resources like that, okay? Um, so now they've, well, they're good. Basically, Chinese has, China has secured the right to their all which i think is really really bad our governments um in african countries should stop actually selling the resources of the nations to um outside countries i mean i don't see anything wrong with exporting however like not all our resources should be sold to other countries you know and um and that is really really bad of african countries um let me know in the comment section if you agree that's if some that's something that you agree with i don't think that our government should actually be selling all of our resources and not giving us the african nations the people within africa the right to actually um partake in a lot of the the natural resources and you know the natural minerals and all of the those kind of natural 
um, resources within our countries because a lot of you find a lot of countries that have oil a lot of countries that have gold a lot of countries that have diamonds are not even allowed to do mining for themselves to sell in the market like they have to like literally do it undercover and if they are found to be doing that they they're punished for it and i don't think that that is right it's not right and it shouldn't be so um you know because i believe that when god created different nations and put the wealth of different nations in their countries like it wasn't for the extortion of other countries at the expense of the people in those nations um you know because why should you have diamond and yet be so poor why should you have gold and yet be so poor why should you have cocoa and not um know what chocolate tastes like why should you have all these resources and not you know and not be um benefiting from it like when god released those into your countries um you are actually supposed to be benefiting from it you know that is the actual wealth of your nation you know, so as a people of those nations, you shouldn't be poor. You shouldn't be poor. Like, you shouldn't be poor. You know? Africa is one, is the richest continent in the earth. Is one of, is among the richest continent. And rich in regards to natural resources and um, minerals. You know? Diamonds, gold, um, iron or manganese timber cocoa um coffee you know and the likes and so many more um copper um what is the other one so many so many of these things that are used by other countries to create even things like mobile phones computers laptops and all of that is taken from african countries gold um that is used on like rings necklaces and all of these kind of the items is taken from african countries diamonds is taken from african countries you know so yeah um what's it called animal husbandry is limited in the presence of sese fly the sese resistant cattle have been imported from senegal to a cattle project okay so they have animals but it's because of the what's it called the flies that affect them um they don't really do much with that and they also have um what's it called fishing industry however is still underdeveloped okay um the, the fishing industry counts for two-thirds of total um Japanese water two-thirds sorry of the catch the water of governance of governance coast contain large quantities of fish governance waters are estimated to be able to support an annual catch of 15 tons of tuna and 12 ton um, 15,000 tons of tuna and 12,000 tons of sardine so you can do quite a lot of fishing in Gabon okay even though the the fishing industry is still underdeveloped okay and um another industry is the petroleum like with um, petroleum manganese mining timber processing um most industrial establishments are located near libreville libreville and port gentil Timber related concerns include five vineyard plants and large and a large 50 year old plywood factory in Port Gentil, along with two other small factories, chemical plants, breweries, shipyards, and cigarette factories. So they are into manufacturing, okay? Um, so there is manufacturing opportunity in Gabon if that is something that you're looking into um doing investing whether you're in gabon or outside of gabon and you like to relocate to gabon that is something that you can go into manufacturing okay um and uh what's it called 
Gabonese manufacturing is highly dependent on foreign imports or import costs and import costs rose significantly in 1994 when the CFA franc was devalued. Okay? Um, increased costs and oversized capacity have made the manufacturing sector less competitive and it is main and it mainly supplies the domestic market. So you can manufacture things that su and supply them to the domestic market, which means it's just within Gabon. Okay. Um, the government has taken steps to privatize parastol starto enterprises because the Gabonese company is dependent upon oil, which is crude oil, accounts for 80% of the country's export and 43% of the GDP and 65% of state revenue. It is subject to worldwide price fluctuation. Gabon is the sub-Saharan third largest crude oil producer, crude oil producer and exporter, although there are concerns that proven reserves are declining and production has declined as well so their oil is going down you know i think because they've exported so much of it to other countries um that is going down is decreasing so they say okay so the government says okay um but that is it that is what literally gabon depends on that is the economy of Gabon in a nutshell, so they're into manufacturing, although that has declined because the value of their money has gone down. Um, they also depend on oil, crude oil. Um, they are number three, they are number three in the exporter of oil, um, although that is claimed to be going down as well. Um, I'll come back and give you 10 opportunities, business opportunities that you can do within Gabon. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.